Hey there, my friend, fellow traders. Will here with the FXAce.com. First of all, welcome to the video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all my uh, latest uh, analyst videos and uh, free trading signals. Okay, so this video, we've just completed another fantastic uh, trading week and another fantastic uh, trading month. We've banked around 600 pips this month, maybe a little bit more. In this video, I'm just gonna share with you this week's results. And <clears throat> first off, yeah, first off, join the private Facebook group. There will be a link below in the description area here, or just head over to Facebook and type in the FXAs Professional Forex Signal and Educational Group, and you will uh, be able to join, the, just request to join the group, and you'll be able to hop in and see the kind of results. So you can see some of the results this week that were coming in. Around about 100, 130 to 145 pips uh, we managed to get subscribers managed to get this week some of the guys posting the telegram group there uh week before that we got around just over 100 pips the week before that was around 200 thanks to a nice gold trade and then the first week of the month we had a huge huge uh week you can see here it was the biggest week of the month around 200 some people are getting up anywhere from 250 to 300 pips so it was a pretty uh, crazy month the start of the month some nice uh setups this was the best week of the month on paul strong was posting uh 340 pips that week which was pretty uh <laughs> pretty good so it was this week, again, we're coming into December, the markets are starting to slope a little. And these are the trades that were actually triggered this week. We got EuroCAD, British Pound CAD, British Pound Aussie, and British Pound Swiss Franc, Aussie Kiwi, and a second uh, signal that was sent in the group on the British Pound Aussie. Now, this was my results. Some other guys in the group got better in this because these did initially at the start of the week plummet we have a trade in the euro british pound that's rolled over okay and so next week can basically just take if you're watching this you can just enter the british pound or euro british pound okay so we're going to head over and have a quick look see at the, the trades we got triggered on okay the first one was the british pound cad okay and we took us at the start of the week at 171 uh, 800 okay and the reason i got out of this trade was basically coming down to the 176 area down here did drop a little bit lower actually plummeted from our entry just over 140 pips and then rallied back up towards the end of the week so that the signal was entered here a nice start of the week but then some news came out on thursday and it rallied up and then dropped again but that was the trade there we took we closed that in the telegram group for around 100 pips some people got got the full backs 140 some got around about 100 okay i got 100 pips on this uh trade which was good for me uh next one was the british pound aussie okay so similar story at the start of the week we were getting in at So we'll double check here. I think it was 192. Yeah, so 192. We got in at the start of the week here. And again, I got out of this trade. Uh, did drop oh, just 100 pips. I got out around uh, 189, uh, 400. So around 70, 80 pips on that trade. Okay. And then it rallied up. This is the reason I got as I was approaching down here. You can see price action slowing down. So we get out of that trade. And that was uh, quite early in the week. We banked around 170 pips, which was nice. And then on Thursday, we I took another trade at 191.2, rallying up into this uh, level here. 
took out these highs, saw so created the new high into a new level, and we entered at one ninety one two. Again, I, I took six, it did drop a I did drop like a hundred pips on that over the coming hours, but I took it out at one ninety five. I got another seventy pips on it. Just here, but that was basically the reason I took that uh, short term trade and get out of it so quickly was price had broke up through these highs, created the new high. So the next likely uh, first easy target is going to be the last high that was taken out. So that's the kind of target I took there. And then Friday it's rally back up again. Okay. Uh, next one was British pound, uh, Swiss franc. Okay. So basically I was looking to take this trade last week at 128.5. Initially at the start of the week we did uh, drop did drop 50 pips at the start of the week could have exited it and bank a nice 50 pips but uh, I was predicting that this was going to break down it was broke up three and it's likely heading up towards 130 at the minute once it takes out this high here next area would be a good trade at the 130 area this longer term weekly uh, trend line it's approaching with a nice daily area situated at 130. So next week, I'll just give away a trade for you at 130. Okay, that's kind of trade there next week. Stopped out last week, minus 70 pips. Uh, as part of the game, it happens. Okay, British Euro, British Pound, again. This is just slowly, slowly grinding down and this price action pattern here is telling me that I'm getting ready for a a reversal buy here okay might break down through this line here false breakout but i'm expecting this to pop up next week and head up higher and in particularly that area there okay and um, if you in case you're wondering up here uh, you can watch the video yesterday i sent this is the new uh, day trading super bot, which actually trades, allows you to trade divergence and support and resistance. So all my trading will be automated from now, every single bit of it, thanks to this powerful EA, which is only an offer this weekend, by the way, guys. So make sure you're in there. So this trade here, we're still in play. I'm letting this run next week, so I'm expecting this a longer term play to the upside. Aussie Kiwi, okay, so I closed that. This was the free signal I gave last week, and it's just grinding out also, okay? And you can see where it's grinding to. It's grinding all the way down. You can see it 105, uh, 100, this nice area here. Okay, so next week, I'm expecting a big pop in this. So I did close out it on Friday at 105.450, so minus be 25 pips in that. But next week, I'm expecting, uh, again, there's another signal for you next week. I'm buying this off the get-go next week, probably around 101, 105, 300, and, or 105, 200. Um, I'm expecting this to pop up nicely. Okay, and if you do the Fib Fibonacci area line here, got a nice target in there, 106.7. And last but not least, the last trade of the week was on the Euro uh, card. We got about 25 pips in it, and it didn't really go anywhere till Friday. It popped up, and we got about 25 pips in it at the close of the day. So that's the trades this week. As they happened, around 145 pips. Another great week, another great month. To access the service, uh, my friend, just simply click the link below. There'll be a big buy now button. Uh, you can't really go wrong with it. It's no brainer. We guarantee that you will make a minimum of 900 pips every 90 days or you, we will simply refund your money. Okay, you can see if you go over to the Facebook group, you can see the results the guys are getting. Week after week, we are grinding out uh, pips and accounts are growing. Okay, it's not, we just, it's not that we get the one lucky week. Every week, bar three, I think, since we started in June, the end of May, June, uh, we have had profitable weeks. We average around 200 pips a week. 
this week was no different. So click the link below, get started. Any questions, let me know at willowdayfxas.com. And looking forward to uh, seeing you in the service. Thanks for watching. Will over the FX is.